I'm uh, Jennifer Baker. Uh, my husband and I own Brandy Wine Creek Vineyards and Winery. My husband is a retired family doctor. I am a nurse practitioner. I'm still working, but he is retired fully. This uh, building was his family practice office for 32 years. He retired in August 2017 and we gutted and remodeled and this was our retirement project, I guess you could say. Um, before he, a few years before he retired, he um, started planting grapevines and working with, trying to make wine and he enjoyed it. So that's kind of what gave us the idea. Um, so we will be open three years in June. We host live music every Saturday night. Um, it starts at six, goes to nine. Um, we put them on the back patio so people like to bring their lawn chairs and kind of spread out and enjoy. We have a pretty good variety. We have um, several dry reds, several dry whites, um, some semi-dries, which are pretty much more, more dry than sweet, and then some semi-sweets, which are more sweet than dry, and then a lot of um, fruit-based wines, um, and then several just grape wines. Um, we have one seasonal wine that we release every November and we still have some of that left this year. It's called Winter Pear. It's a sweet pear but has mulling spices in it. Um, and then we have two ice wines, which are dessert wines. They're actually super sweet. And they're, they call it ice wine because they pick the grapes off the vine after the first freeze. So the, the water content does something with the, I should know this, but the water content um, increases the sugar content so it makes it a sweeter wine. I prefer dry whites. Um, we have a good, in my opinion, a good Gewürztraminer, which is, it's a German wine or German grape. Um, most places, if you find one, it's like more of a semi-dry. It has a little bit of sweetness to it. Ours is totally dry, no added sugars. I like that. The dry reds, I will drink if I'm eating a meal, um, but my favorite is the Shiraz. It's nice bold and peppery and our best seller is blackberry apple so it's a sweet wine of course um, that's our best seller and typically most months um, the second best seller is peach so the fruit wines are pretty popular typically especially with top shelf we don't have any other company that does this they will call us a day or two ahead and let us know you know approximately what time they'll be here how many people um, and then they typically call about 30 minutes before they get here. Um, so we usually will have, if it's a busy day, we will make room for them at the bar before they get here so they're not waiting when they get here because they only have so much time. We will make room at the bar for them to do their tastings. Um, they come in, most of them will do a tasting. Some, if they've been to several wineries before they come here, they might do a glass of wine and just sit or slushy or whatever. Um, but we give them the whole experience with the tasting and then I usually they have 30 to 45 minutes I think per stop so then they'll just a lot of times they have to take a picture everywhere they go so they'll either be out in the vineyard or out in front by the sign but um and Rob's drivers are amazing we enjoy working with them a lot so they do a good job Hi, I'm Rob Zajac, owner of Top Shelf Tours. If you like this winery, check out our website, topshelf.tours, to schedule an afternoon of wine tasting with all your friends at wineries just like this one.